turn on, tune in, and drop out. Now, this may sound reckless advice today, but it's the oldest advice that philosophers and religious leaders have passed on. Detach, drop out, find what's within. And I stand by uh, that statement. I knew he was an outlaw. I think I've lived one of the most interesting lives of anyone in the 20th century. Yes, sir. Since 1960, I've been the director of a research project at Harvard. Under my personal supervision, witnessed uh, over 3,000 ingestions of LSD. Well, can you briefly describe the effect of it? Uh, <laughs> no, sir. I just like what this film explores. It's a love story between two people drawn together for almost spiritual reasons. They blew up in this psychedelic world. It ended the 1950s. Leary and Alpert were remembered as cultural icons, very influential people in not only American culture, but world culture. They are iconic figures who stepped off the map. It's that evil man, Dr. Timothy Leary. You have to be quite a badass to get locked up for your ideas. That's the mythic level that Timothy and I lived at, was we were adventurers. I've been in 40 jails and four <laughs> continents. <laughs> I haven't even been busted yet. <laughs> what Ram Dass did for our culture was to open up a door of spirituality. When I discovered I was dying, I called Ram Dass because I knew he would understand. If you have identified with your soul when you're alive, death, it's just another moment. <laughs>